Okay, let's clean this up. Let's take a look at the model samples. This is my first video on the instrument. Uh, it's my first impression. I share the opinion of most people that I've seen using the model samples. I love this thing. Personally, I picked up on it pretty quickly because I own the Digitone and the workflow is quite similar in some ways. When I think Electron, I think Sequencer and the Sequencer is so precise on this thing. And of course, there's pros and cons to that. A pro being that you could do just about anything to specific notes within the sequence. Ho 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 ho, we're on something cool. And con being that in order to do that, you really have to dig in and sort of menu dive and take the time to craft your sequences. So it's not as spontaneous as other instruments. In other words, it's a very cerebral process. It's not quite as cerebral as the Digitone in my opinion, but nonetheless, you could of course sample with the model samples, but up until this point, I've just been using these stock sounds, getting used to the instrument. There's actually a lot to work with there, but sampling my own stuff is something I'd like to do with the model samples, of course. And that's definitely something I'll be covering in another video once I have a fresh take on it. I've got the SP404 MK2 off to the side here, which will be a soft focus of this video. We're gonna combine the at the end of the video. I think that this makes for a great combo because you have the cerebral approach of the model samples and the hands-on-ness of the SB404 MK2. But like I said, the focus and beat making process will all be taking place on the model samples. Big thank you to today's sponsor, Analog Cases. You might want to stick around for this one if you're looking for a custom-made case for virtually any of your electronic instruments. Here I have the Unison Custom Edition hard case, which is absolutely perfect for hauling around several pieces of gear to a gig or some sort of event. The case comes with foam inserts that you're able to break apart and customize depending on your specific setup. This model comes in two different sizes, so there is the compact version, a little bit smaller, and I have the XL version here just to give you an idea of what synth is able to carry. I've got the model samples, SP404 MK2, as well as the Digitone, which fit perfectly, nice and snug, protected and divided by these foam pieces. They are not going anywhere. This is a very popular item at analog cases, but virtually any instrument that you have, groove box, synth, drum machine, whatever, they have a case for it. Like for example, the SB404 MK2 model samples and Digitone. There is literally no better option on the planet for affordable and slick cases designed specifically for your instruments. Totally necessary if you're gonna be traveling around with your gear. If you're interested, I've left a link in the description for this case specifically and also for the Analog Cases homepage. So I know that the term beat from scratch is like a trend these days in the synth YouTube community. And I get it, you're starting from a blank slate. Everyone's so creative. Well, we're gonna do something a little bit different today, yet still creative. The model samples has a bunch of pattern templates to work from. A lot of them are actually very cool. And there's nothing wrong with starting with a template as an outline, uh, especially if you don't really have a direction to go into. If you feel lost, it's actually a great technique to get you started. Let's take a look at some of these patterns. So let's choose that as a starting point. That's pattern 10. What's the tempo in this one? We're at 120. Let's change it to 121. Okay, I gotta do something. This is annoying. Satisfaction. The first thing we're gonna do, we're actually going to mute everything and we're gonna isolate the drums, change those around. So this is kind of like a glitchy bass thing. And then we have four on the floor. Right, so I'm not, I'm not crazy about this. Let's change this around. Okay, I'm just gonna erase the whole thing. And we're gonna try and find uh, a base to work with. Let's add that in. I do like that there's four on the floor in this pattern, but I'm not crazy about the sound of that kick, so we're gonna actually switch that out. Let's just go with retro kick. Let's try this. Go back, play. You know, it's a thing. There was a clap on T4, so let's erase what's there. This is a four bar pattern. We're just gonna erase everything. I like the clap sound.
You know? Let's do that. I like that little extra note that I left in there too. I'm gonna raise the volume of this clap, make it nice and reverb send. Now a common move for like a snare or a clap is to add a fill. This is a really fun feature with the model sample. So I'm gonna to head to the last page. I'm going to copy these last two uh, claps here and I'm going to hold down on a clap that I want to turn into a fill. So hold it down, chance. We're gonna scroll all the way to the left. It says fill now, same with this one, all the way to the left. So now if I play through the whole four bar pattern, those last two claps at the end are not there. But if I hold page and do the same thing, that's a fill and this is a great way to transition or lift into the next section perhaps. And you could just plug and punch, right? So you could choose any note in the sequence that you want and turn it into a fill note. Let's add one more of them. So copy, I'm gonna put one here chance bring that to fill there was also that random note in the fourth bar so that's this one here i believe yes uh, i'm going to change the velocity of that note specifically so i'm going to bring that down to i don't know like 70 or something let's try it getting real specific here We can even add effects onto individual notes within the sequence as well. Let's add reverb to the last two notes. This is a very powerful tool to add tension and releases to your tracks. over to this empty track here which sounds like hi-hats I'll change this to a two bar pattern let's say so 32 notes let's audition something I've been so into house beats recently Same thing as before, I'm going to sprinkle some fill notes here and there. Maybe copy one there. Condition, bring that over to fill. And same thing here. Make this a fill as well. On this particular fill note, I'm going to make it sound more like an open hi-hat. So decay, I'll bring that way up. Let's hear what that sounds like. That hi-hat is definitely sounding for too long. Pro tip, go back to page one. I'm going to paste the note there and bring down the volume to zero. Much better. Maybe a bit too loud. Let's bring that chord back in. There it is. That chord is way too loud. Ho 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 ho, we're on something cool. Super into this. Something worth mentioning, this sequence is actually twice as long as the other instruments. So how do you do that? I'll make sure I'm on the right instrument. So that's the pad here, function page. You'll see the scale here, it says half time. So this means that the sequence passes by half as slow. If you wanna change that, you just click on it. You can move it up to one time, two time, etc. We're gonna keep it at half time because 
it's a nice progression. I'm going to erase these notes. So completely get rid of this pattern and we'll come up with a completely new progression. Let's audition something. a few of the parameters around. We have like a DX7 quality uh, synth pad going on. I love that. Let's find some high notes. Okay, so those, those will be the fill notes. Where could we add those? Let's play it again. Two, and three, and four, and. So that's on. So here and here, that's where those fill notes could be. Let's go back and find those. So this page here, boom, fill. I'm gonna add some reverb to that as well as some delay. Next page. There's a double one that I added here. Also fill notes. I'll add some reverb to the last one and some delay as well. It's here. Yeah. There's one last part that we didn't really touch. That's this percussive thing here. Let's play that. A lot of reverb on that. Let's take that down. So simple, we've got six really cool elements here to start with. Percussion, bass, chords, clap, kick, and hi-hat. We have some fill notes for variations and lifts. Let's take a look at performance tricks. Hit function and temp save. This saves all of the current parameters of this track for us to fall back on. So if I decide to add effects live, let's say with the kick, Something simple like just the cutoff. Kick is gone. If I hit function and pattern, the kick is back. We'll make a few more changes, make something a bit more drastic. So all of this combined with the hands-on SP404 multi effects and we have the starting of a live performance. Just as a simple explanation of what's happening, I'm running these model samples through the 404 MK2 where I'm adding effects to it there. There's no MIDI syncing or anything going on. The MK2 is purely an effects box for the model samples. Hopefully this gave you guys some insight and creative ways of using the model samples. Like I said, I really love this thing. It's quick, it's simple. It's small enough too that it could definitely make a great addition to your current synth setup. It's also not overly complicated, so it works well as a first sampler. Personally, I was on the edge of picking up a Diggy Tact instead of the model samples because it's just like a level up, but there's still a lot to explore and I'm really glad that I gave this thing a go. Definitely some more model samples content coming soon, but I could actually use your help on that one. If there's anything specific that you'd like to learn or focus Focus on about this instrument, let me know in the comments. Affiliate links for the 404 as well as the model samples are in the description for those who are 
on the edge of buying. I would make a small commission on those sales at no extra charge to you. One of the best ways of supporting this channel, hope that you guys subscribe and I will see you very soon. Thank you.